Hello dear friends, today we will be making essential oil out of lavender and uh, I will show you how to do it. So to make essential oil we need uh, distilling equipment, uh, our Ukrainian alembic called Phoenix. Uh, it consists out of uh, next parts, the pot where you put water, the column where you fill uh, the herb, inside, the sieve to close the uh, column so the herb will not fall out, silicone gasket, tree clamp. So the first uh, step is to fill the pot with water. I put already some uh, one and a half liter of uh, boiling water, I boil it in the boiler so uh, it, it's uh, faster so I put some more water I put a little bit of salt some two uh, spoons of salt so uh, it will increase temperature of vapor and make uh, essential oil separation better. So next uh, step is to fill the column with the herb. Any herb. Uh, this time we are using lavender. It's very easy to do. And we close the column with a sieve. You press inside. And then remove the rest. Next step is to connect cooling water. But before putting the tube on the inflow tube and outflow tube, I recommend to grease it a little bit with any oil, any sunflower oil or any other oil will be okay. Uh, so uh, it will be much easier to put the tube uh, on and uh, to remove the tube afterwards. So you just drizzle it a little bit and it becomes much easier to put the tube on. So uh, on the lower tube you put uh, cooling water and from uh, higher tube the, the hot water will be going out. So uh, once uh, the column is filled with uh, herb and uh, water is uh, water supply is arranged you put silicon gasket on the uh, tree clamp and then you put the column on it's very stable equipment so you see it stays like this and then you close the clamp. It's very easy to do. Uh, for essential oil distillation you don't need thermometer but you need to make uh, the heating as higher as possible because higher temperature will uh, are, uh, allow you to get more oil. So um, you adjust for uh, to separate oil. So to, to separate uh, hydrosol from oil, you need an oil separator. It's very easy tool, but uh, it will be very efficient to separate oil from the hydrosol. And we use some short tube to arrange 
like this. So you uh, all the drops will go directly into the oil separator. You need some vessel to collect hydrosol after oil separator, and some bigger vessel to get uh, to collect uh, hydrosol from here. And afterwards, we will use uh, pipette to collect oil. So basically, we can start. Uh, we put heater on and we put water on as well. So within five minutes after we started our distillation process we have already some drops of uh, uh, hydrozole and uh, you, we can see that uh, hydrozole is uh, below and now we have already few drops of essential oil, lavender essential oil and once it will reach this level hydrozole will be coming out uh, uh, in the vessel and we will be getting our essential oil. First half an hour or some 40-50 minutes will be the most efficient to collect essential oil and uh, the m biggest quantity of essential oil which, uh, contain which has uh, some herb, uh, some uh, lavender, it's, it will be already here so if you need to get more essential oil, you have to refill the column with uh, a new fresh herb. Now I will be refilling column with a new herb, fresh herb, so I will get more essential oil within one distillation. So I switch off the heater, uh, I leave the cooling water flow I take some cloth to take the column and open the easily take uh, the column uh, using the cooler it's quite cool but of course you have to be very careful so I open the sieve and remove with a spoon used grass herb And then I refill the column with fresh herb. and put the column back on the steel. The tree clamp is quite hot, so you have to be really careful. So now you can put the heater on and get more essential oil.
and readjust this connection. So after a few minutes it should be coming.